I think it's, it's, a great, it's a great revolution. That means that it's true that in your country, but moreover in Iran, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Tunisia, in Egypt, in Libya, it's very important to have bloggers because they are able to tell what's going on in their country without journalists. So this is the main point. But as a journalist, I think we need to work with the bloggers. We can go on the, the, the blog, we can read the blog, we can try to call them, you can interview them, we can ask them information, etc. But as a journalist, we have a responsibility. That means that we must check the information from the bloggers because we don't know exactly this guy, this blogger. We have information about it on his blog, but I can't check the information. And this is the difference between citizen journalists and real journalists. That means citizen journalists is just writing about his daily life and about what he want to say. But usually, as a real journalist, you have one code of ethics. You need to be fair. You need to be honest. You need to look for the truth. You need to check that you're not masterminded by one government or one organization. And this is the main difference between citizen journalists and journalists. For example, last year, about riots in Iran, there were one picture okay, of a girl, a dead girl in the street. And everybody checked, bloggers and journalists on the web checked the information and decided to reveal the identity, the name of the girl. And they say, poor girl, she's dead in the street. But it was not the right girl. But no one, no one, no one discovered that because we are so, it's so fast, you know. For example, with Twitter, you have the information second by second. So it's really fast. And if you want to be the first, like CNN, for example, Wild Jersey, you will give the information to the audience but you don't have the time to check. 